I said that's me right there that you see when I coming up out them woods with that fuck. Put a tag on the head, guarantee she fuck. So bad that her mama gon' feel it. And I bet them seventy six fools gon' feel it. Hey y'all, it's Nike Harrison. I am back with another YouTube video. It is. <coughs> it's twelve fifty two, and I'm driving to Norfolk today. Finally going to my college to see what it's all about. I gotta go there and handle some financial business, so I just decided to record and show y'all the drive. And yeah. Okay, so as of right now, it is 2.37. I'm getting paperwork ready, you know, to dip the foot out because I'm ready to get all my shit situated so I can just like go to college and like not have like nothing like hanging over my head like, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. I'm gonna just drive down there. In Dwayneau Beach, cause I'm got things. 343. I'm just getting ready to uh, leave. I have a blanket right here. Got my paperwork, keys, purse. I'm gonna get my charger. I don't know if I wanna bring my iPad, cause there's really no point. I bring my iPad. Got my phone. AirPods charged. Got my mask. I think I'm ready. It is. 3.56, get in the car, getting ready to leave. Hey guys, um, damn. <laughs> I almost shot my fucking phone in my face. Um, <laughs> shit. It's 5.37. We are in Delaware. We stopped at a little, uh, Welcome center, I'm guessing. That's my AirPods telling me please charge. Go to hell. But yeah, we're in Delaware right now on the way to Norfolk, Virginia. Mm, right now it's 6.51. I believe we're in Maryland or Virginia. I'm not sure because I was trying to sleep. It's... 816 right now and um we made it to virginia i've been trying to sleep throughout the entire car ride but i couldn't because my brother kept touching me and grabbing my face and we don't like that over here from where we are right now campus is about two hours away i think i like dog shit i'm not <laughs> Yo, motherfucking time. But nobody wanted to let me sleep. And every fucking five seconds, my mama kept trying to tap me and trying to talk to me. What she saw, I was trying to go to sleep. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Um, it is now uh, 10 21. And we're in Virginia. We're really, really close to this fool. I'm really really tired i laid my edge before i got in the fucking car and it, 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 it speaks for itself but yeah all right so yeah, i'm on campus um i'm about to go handle some business sales handling um paperwork stuff um gotta go talk to the financial aid you know get my coin by any means cool. Now, the nursing center is over there on your left side, and then to the right is our senior art. He go from the library. Mm -hmm. This is our newest academic building. It used to be our first and oldest building on campus, mm -hmm. and now we move around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is the student center? Mm -hmm. You okay? <laughs> so it's like a dining hall slash. So the dining hall is actually. Is the gym like open for all students? Yep, for all students. So it's like a okay, spark cool, cool. workout. Um, above the gym, they have a dance studio. Uh -huh. So if you want to 
cook it, cook the ox it up, and that <laughs> So pretty much in, in these rooms to the left, you would notice all these rooms, they have different conference rooms for the special events, or if anybody wants to host a special event, they can. They have like a fashion show in there. They also can get like a um, ox school battle with the students. If you're out of Division I school, we do have um, all the made athletic sports and the cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. We do have all your divine now fraternities and sororities. I'm a proud man of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity <laughs> Incorporated, the oldest in the codes. You know, I'm a little impartial, but yeah. So we're head on out, we're going to make this right turn. Okay. Over here on your left side, um, this is Gills, and inside we have, um, that's like intramural sports, um, basketball. Have a, I can't swim myself, but they do have a limpid size swimming pool in there. Oh, child, so I don't swim. Can you swim? Mm -mm. Okay, look good. I'm gonna have to lower. Probably should have took a few more classes myself. But as you proceed, this will take you to the heart of our campus. As you can see, everything is brand new. Oh my god. <laughs> it's brand new academic building. Also, they have this stage out here some days. Every Friday, they have activity out. So they bring a DJ yeah, out. Heard. All your fraternities and sororities and stuff, they can come out and everything. Good chance to unwind. We should have been after a long, <laughs> hard, steady week, you know? Yeah. Most HBCUs, you know, they don't look like it. All right, so straight ahead, um, we do have like right, outside basketball courts. Mm -hmm. You play any sports other than volleyball? Uh, I tried basketball, but it just wasn't for me. You said what? I said I tried basketball, but it wasn't for me. <laughs> okay, so, well, just in case you decide one day you want to get your game, <laughs> we got an outside basketball court. We got our um, men's baseball field is over there as well. I'm going to make this right turn, but um, my men's baseball team, they just won the Northern Division MEAC um, this year. So they are the reigning 2021 MEAC champions. Mm. Our men's basketball team um, has won. We had championship this year as well, so Spartans doing some great things. So this building that we're coming up on will be your new home. So that this is our 4.2 million dollar nursing and general education building. Top the entire top floor is just for nursing. Okay. Floors below general education, so you'll find a lot of different major classes that will be in this building. Mm -hmm. we head on in, and I'll take you up to the nursing floor. All right. So this is. A nursing and general education building and everything. So um, starting off, right side this will be the students and stuff. This is where you go for like academic advising, registration, and stuff like that. You go here your first two years. Straight ahead on the right side, we have a computer lab. We have a computer lab located in every single building here on our campus. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but we're gonna head on upstairs. You okay with the steps? It's fine. <laughs> oh, now they're fine. <laughs> so, we got our Spartan Cafe on this right side, so you can go to get anything you might need to eat. Also, it's a location of Starbucks Express over there. So, this first classroom, this is the cluster classroom. So they're going back, they're going to restyle and set it up for um, regular format. They moved all the chairs because it was set up for COVID. Um, but basically in here, you have two blue projection screens that'll come down. Um, when you come in, every student is required to wipe down their workspace, so you have to um, sanitation wipes, you wipe it down when you, before you come in and when you leave as well. Okay. Turn it on down. If you happen to be outside, you gotta wait for your classes. The young lady does it, she pointed out. We do have outlets out here. <laughs> she was like, I can charge my phone. <laughs> so they got different style classrooms depending on the size of your class and your professor. They can kind of cater to whatever you do. More cluster classrooms on, on both of those sides. Mm -hmm. One neat fun fact about all our classrooms, especially in our newer buildings, they have cameras in the classroom as well as on all doors they have electronic locks that so they can actually lock down from the campus police station mm -hmm. if there's ever an emergency on campus. That's smart. You got your vending machine where you can swipe this spot car. Okay. And so here's a different style classroom. Kind of hard to see because they're preparing to get all the seats moved back around. But you can see we do have different style classrooms for you to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. okay. right, we'll make this right, and then we'll head upstairs. Okay. More different style classrooms, your seminar rooms. You also have your professor's offices. You can actually see if you're here or not. So if you need to stop class and get some help, 
came. I remember when I was in college many years ago. We used to have that wooden door. <laughs> so if they didn't want to be there, they didn't have to be. But was definitely. Um, we do offer free tutoring, free mentoring, as well as big brother and big sister programs. Mm -hmm. And we have a writing center here on our campus. But if you need help with writing your papers, you can get that help. And they won't write the paper for you. But, but they'll help you. Yeah. So we'll head on up. Last one. And we're gonna head to the top floor, which will be the new home. Alright, so we'll head on up to the nursing floor. When you get off the elevator, it's gonna feel like a kind of like a hospital ward. Right. Okay. So oh, this do like a little hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the nursing floor. Okay. So every class on this floor is a nursing class, okay? Nice views across the campus. Okay. And one thing you do again, you will see that the classroom setups are set up just like this. What? And everything. So you get that hands on approach when it does come to learn. They have like the dummies in the bed, cadaver dummies, electronic ones with your eyes green, they call, they breathe, they sneeze, they vomit, they go in the tube. They even have something they can simulate childbirth and everything. So they oh, teach you wow. Everything. Oh, yeah, I'm going to like this. And so as you will see, it's kind of hard to see, but the classroom set it. Once you turn this corner, the desk are right there in the middle of the classroom. I saw it once on a live. You said you saw it? I saw it on a live. Yeah. So you have nursing tutorials, so if you ever need to come up here to study, mm -hmm. you can. So these, these classrooms are just for you guys. So nursing majors, they can go in and have little study sessions and everything. <laughs> uh, we have electronic classrooms. Oh, so, yeah. so let's see, you'll notice they have computers, the computers are underneath the desk. They got the privacy glass and everything, so that means no cheating. Mm -hmm. And then you're kind of heading out here, so that classroom extends all the way down. So it's wide open. So you will see, just like down there, hospital set up, um, the beds and everything. This is pre matter or the nursing, so I will be... This is just nursing. So I won't be up here until like my junior year. Usually, yeah. So you might have some classes, but usually that's when you're really up here. <sighs> All right. All right. So as you look out the window, to the left will be like the softball field. Straight ahead is the mm -hmm. band practice field. And to the right is the library. And then they have like conference rooms. So if you ever get a meet or anything, like professors or anything, it's covered. This will be the nursing office over here on the left side. Down here, these are more like the health assessment labs. Okay? Again, similar to down there, but they teach you like everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so okay. like working like doctors all of a sudden. The other like side anatomy, side. kind of. The other side is more like hospital setup. So they do all the training and everything, like right there in the class. Even for like newborns and everything. All different races, different ages, and everything. Going through learning all the bones and like discovering the structures and everything. I think it's getting everything set up. It's like a little hot school. Yeah. One neat fun fact about this, um, we're actually designated as a COVID-19 overflow site. So maybe they can actually open um, this floor up and everything and actually um, become a fully functional hospital. Wow. So for some reason, everything is overflowed and there's no more capacity that they can set everything up. So like everything is fully functional. We can go through the first floor and that yeah, would be a right that's, that's a lot of floors right there. I can see them right there. <laughs> you and these stuff. <laughs> We're excited about this year. Like this is a big year because since everything is going back to normal and everything, it's kind of like students are excited about it because we have remained open throughout the entire pandemic. We have actually been in the lowest tiers of positivity rates in the state of Virginia, which is huge. But now it's like it's changing everything, um, bringing people back, being more active on campus and everything.
this entire Latin area. So we'll make this loop and we'll go past. Wow. Hey, hey, how y'all doing today? Oh, for this letter, for this letter. So, Lady Gia, she's going to catch this tour. Hello. Oh, great, yes. All right, so pretty much the idea is that this is a brand new area. This used to be the computer lab. So they're getting everything prepared for this fall semester. Um, and everything. So you need to come down on those kids and say, hey, man, you can. Uh, all brand new furniture. Over here on the left side, this is your writing center. Mm -hmm. So if you need help with your papers or anything, this will be where you come. It is free. Um, so they won't write that paper for you, but they'll sit down with you, kind of point out like what you need to work on and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And so all of this furniture and everything is brand new that they just put in. As you can see, it's so late eco friendly. So as you can see, they're going to get everything squared away for all of us to come back in the next few weeks. So if you need to come have a snack while you're in here studying and stuff like that, if you can. And as you can see, the so late eco friendly lights. Second floor? No. You can take the elevators and stuff. Mm -mm. And we'll walk down. Mm -mm. Okay. So they have an African art gallery on the second floor. Heard about that. Last and closed study rooms and everything. This is really nice. communications, we got psychology, we have our theater, um, drama and theater department, we have the number one drama theater department at OHCU. Psychology is in here, social work, school of business. Trust me, yeah, trust me. So we got shared classrooms in here, as you can see, they are spaced out for this stuff. They are spaced out for COVID-19, but they will be returning um, back and have to put all the best back in here and stuff like that. And the left side will be um, our theater. This is our main, um, main stage theater. This is happening in the war when the theater company. We have done different productions such as the Dream Girls, Color Purple, the, the Wind. Mm -hmm. They even built the sound stage outside um, for this past school year to get the Wiz outside, especially like the social distancing. Steady rooms over here on the left side. Other side of the wall, you have like vending machines, the restroom, so and then if you're waiting in between the classes, you have like the seating area if you want to like hang out on the steps. Mm -hmm. Um and stuff. Okay. Just head out the back door and we just make this room. Outside, okay? Left side, that is the dining hall. Mm -hmm. And then straight ahead, the gray building is the new residential complex. So I think you And then straight ahead to the right of that, that's the suites. Mm -hmm. So that's like your apartment Spartan style. Suites. Yep, Spartan, your apartment style residential. All right, y'all. So now we're on the other side of campus. This is my dorm, I believe. That says that that says north, not not north, which south, and this is the boy side. So I gotta go all the way to the other side, cause it's not my motherfucking side. Fuck is the caters like we don't. I don't want to say we don't have them in Jersey, but bitch, I ain't never hear them active like this before ever. They is showing they motherfucking ass in Virginia today, baby. This is my dorm right here. That's my dorm building right there. I'm on the eighth floor, so. Let me not say that. <laughs> no, okay. I'm, I'm on A floor. 
I want to see. Are they going to let me come in the door? Like, see, like, the lobby, at least. Like, at least the lobby. But, yeah, y'all. I'm out here looking like nobody fucking loves me. I look a mess. The niggas was out hunting. All the, all the football, all the fucking football players was out. Now I'm looking like this. A mess. Uh, I don't think it ain't nobody. Yeah. But shit ain't even no more fucking uh, alright. Yeah. If, like, what if the inside look like if I could? Oh, yeah. So my name is, um, Mr. You scared me. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're good. Thank you. This mic is just going to pick you out. I'm moving on the 21st. Okay. Well, yeah, this will be your name. Like, we have nice little events and programs and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, over here is the computer lab area. Oh, it's a computer lab in mm -hmm. every building. Mm hmm. Um, I'll take you to the middle lobby as well. So we can't go up to our, the rooms yet? Um, not right now because they're still being worked on. Okay. I'm trying to make sure everything is straight for everybody before they come in. Okay. So, um, How are the bathrooms? The bathrooms are good. Um, I do have them putting some finishing touches on like the floor ran and mm -hmm. the, um, the countertop. But they're pretty good. I make sure um, that our housekeepers come in and they clean everything properly. So don't have no issues but this would be the middle lobby area where I know we'll have a lot of the um, activities like the game room is over there and we have a study room over here you see we got shades down and stuff so you know a lot of stuff we got in here um when y'all initially get um in, into the building fully um I'll give y'all a rundown of all of the areas that we have um for amenities like we have a massage room mm. Um, we have a study and music lounge. We got a game room, and hey, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of rooms, but yeah, they um all all this if you guys can have some little relax and chill if you would like. And yeah, just be prepared because we're gonna have a lot of programming. Our RAs are training now, so you can um so we have some stuff for you guys to do. And you know it's gonna be campus wide events and stuff too. So mm -hmm. yeah. So as far as um housing, I am in a double large. What is the difference between a regular double and a double large? So the double larges are normally on um the bathroom and the hall. So normally it's like it's the living room area and it's like two end windows. So you have three middle windows and two end windows. Like it's spread it out. If you You'll probably see it, but a regular large is literally just the four walls, mm -hmm. literally. Um, you'll have extra space on that, and especially with the extra furniture, too. So, uh, do, you, do you know if you have a roommate? I do. Okay. I, I pick my roommate. We oh. are from the same town. The, okay, that's good. Yeah, so, y'all have enough space in there. There's plenty of room um, to do what you need to do. There's two ACs on either side for the bed, so... I told it. her that she was like, "No, I want to bring a fan." I'm like, "Girl, they don't have if AC." You need to. Yeah, yeah, you got, but they do have AC units in the room, so it's not hot. We want y'all to be comfortable. Here. Thank okay. you. So yeah, that was the um, that was the lobby of Babette Smith North and South, because Babette Smith North and South is connected right in the middle. Uh, Babette Smith North has about ten floors. So the South is Twin Towers. What the fuck am I talking about? But yeah, I think I'm gonna like it here. She said the bathrooms is getting re getting like you know touched up, remodeled. But I just sure do hope so, cause there's all the shit, all the shit I've been saying about that bathroom. I don't need to go through that. That's when I heard that like um, if even like, like a whole floor got to share a bathroom. If the bathroom is like messed up in any kind of way and nobody would have fessed up to it, it was the gator. Um, the whole floor get fine. Oh, whoop, somebody asked in there. I'm not playing. But yeah, I believe we're about to leave off campus right now. And I think we're about to go get something to eat. So, yeah, that's campus for you. This one got on my last name. Uh, 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 I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to just sing this bitch. Nice. He called me and, uh, big. Yeah. I love my butter. My butter love me. Yeah. Virginia my wheat. Yeah. 
see y'all on the 21st. If you talk about my pads in the back, you anti-black. I'm looking at this video I'm uh, editing. There's a... No. No. Hold on. No. Damn. Yeah, today has been a very good day. Yes, I do wear the big pads, bitch. I do not got time. It's a big pr, so I gotta wear a big pad, bitch. I really like my campus. My campus. I really enjoy it. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.